Hi everyone, Christy from the Hypothesis team here, and today I'm going to talk about how Hypothesis can help instructors meet the three key principles of Universal Design for Learning, also known as UDL. So first, let's start off with what the UDL framework is. CAST, the nonprofit that created the UDL framework for learning, stated that the UDL guidelines are a tool used in the implementation of universal design for learning, a framework to improve and optimize teaching and learning for all people based on scientific insights on how humans learn. Like I said earlier, there are three main principles of UDL, and I believe that hypothesis can help us better meet each of those principles of UDL. In this video, I'm going to talk about the first principle of UDL. The first principle of UDL is to provide students with multiple means of engaging with course materials. In other words, they should have multiple types of opportunities to engage in the course. A non-example of this would be having students only complete readings throughout the course. So their only opportunity to engage with materials is to complete readings. Why this can be important is because different students are motivated to learn based on their own experiences. So they might have different motivations to learn. The goals of providing multiple means of representation try to mix up these motivations for students and provide a wide breadth of motivations. We want to create value and authenticity in our coursework. We want to vary the demands and optimize challenges in our coursework. And we want to foster community and develop a self-assessment and reflection. All of these things are different ways that students might be motivated to actually engage in the coursework. So how can a hypothesis help us meet each of these goals? The first way is that hypothesis offers an alternative way to engage in course materials and thus course discussions. Not every student might be willing to raise their hand in class as soon as they know an answer. They might need more processing time or feel a little bit less confident in what they're about to say. The hypothesis social annotation sidebar gives them a little bit more time to practice what they'd like to say and consider how they'd like to contribute to the discussion before they click that post button. So they have an alternative way to engage in the class discussion that meets what motivates them. Hypothesis also presents a method of community building. So in the hypothesis annotations, students can often see what their classmates are thinking, what they're asking about in the text, and that can help students feel connected to their classmates oh, I might be feeling the same way that another classmate is feeling about the text or feeling confused about something else they're feeling confused about. Students often will also share related personal experiences, which can help develop that community feeling as well. The final piece is that when we are offering multiple means of engagement, we want to give the students an opportunity for self-assessment and reflection. Offering opportunities for self-assessment and reflection, also known as metacognition, really helps students retain the information that they're reading and hold on to it as they move through the semester. Asking students to annotate is asking them to think about and reflect on how they're interpreting the material as they read it, because they have to then make an annotation about it. They have to recognize, oh, I don't actually understand what this sentence says, so that they can then ask a question about it. Or they might be thinking, this paragraph really reminds me what I learned about in the class I took last semester, and maybe I can share that experience. So having these moments where they are recognizing things that they know or don't know and making those connections are helping build those schemas in their brain, which help 
increase that retention and comprehension throughout the term. This is just one way that hypothesis helps to fulfill the three principles of UDL. The first one being multiple means of engagement. Stay tuned for the next two principles in upcoming videos.